this is any better. Sorry guys, the stream decided to die. <sighs> okay, all right, this is part two. Uh, sorry guys, YouTube is n does YouTube mobile streaming, and YouTube does not mix. And I think my phone was. It. Is this any better? Okay. Sorry guys, YouTube is, I, I, I think YouTube is out, I, I'm using another phone, I've been using another phone, but, yeah, is that better? Here, I was using a OnePlus, this is, this phone was really hot, so now I'm using my other phone, um, but, I don't know, I, yeah, I, I agree, I think Twitch, Twitch is better. Um, just to, just a disclaimer, guys, I think this is going to go down again. Um, just, uh, I'm not getting, I'm not getting connection to YouTube on my other phone. So something is potentially happening. <laughs> okay. How about now? Let's see how well this is going to work. <laughs> I'm not hopeful. I mean, this could this could die any second. This could die any second. Um okay, sorry guys. This is Oh, that's this is terrible. Anyway, let's keep it going. If it dies then uh it's meant to be. It's meant to be. All right, guys, we need to take out the 5700. I need a GPU so that I can figure out the spacing on the AAA wave frame. Uh, down the day, no, I have a, I have a, I'm using another phone for streaming, but that looks like it did not help as well, so. Oh, look at this thing. Holy smoke. This is big. Oh, look at that. This is a nice, this is a nice ROG Strix 5700 XT. This is a beefy one. Nice, nicely done, nicely done. Okay, um, it's got two 8 pins. All right, so that's all I need to do. What, what came, what comes with it here? Zap straps, oh, I could use those. Okay, let's put this on the floor. Let's bring this guy back up. Okay, so. Ah, nice cooler on that one, yeah. Rabbit mining. What's up, man? Okay, so. We need to figure out the spacing. I just need to make sure that uh, this sits, you know. Level. I need to make sure the GPU sits level. Uh, how can I show you guys that? I can go over this way. Okay, so looking at it right now, it's not level. Um, I need to basically bring this down. Uh, is that good? I think I think that's good. I don't I hope this doesn't drop. I uh, yeah, I think that's I think it's good just like that. All right. Now I need to do the same to the other side. Okay. Okay. And this thing is too high as well. Okay, there we go. Which frame is this? This is the AAA Wave, the Sluice. 
the sluice. Yeah, triple A wave, the sluice, six GPU. Uh, they sent me, they sent me like eight triple A wave frames, and I'm slowly building them now. Okay. Um, all right, guys. So that's good. The GPU placement and the height is the spacing is is perfect now. Oh, Emmanuel Matos, thank you for the donation, my friend. Thank you. Thanks, man. Okay. Um. All right. Uh, is this going to be a 5700 rig? Well, no. Actually, initially, I'm doing this because I need a test. Uh, I need a, a test mining rig uh, in my in my location here. So this is where uh, my home base, and uh, I'll have a vlog later on in another video. Uh, I, I got a whole new like I got a whole new like table here. This is a this is a kitchen countertop, and I'm using it as my table. <laughs> uh, okay, all right. The frame is done. That's it. The frame's done. Next up, I want to install the the motherboard and we are not using a H110 we're using a uh, uh, gigabyte gigabyte motherboard okay oh sounds kind of kind of sick stuffy nose about hiding indoors from COVID. rabid mining I've been inside for a long time man. also I, I I'm, I'm, yeah I'm also pretty tired as well so uh, what PSU are you going to use? I'm going to use a Cooler Master Platinum 1200 watt. Will you use six GPUs for this rig? Yes, most likely. I'm actually thinking potentially this rig may be my 3080 rig, but I don't know yet. Okay, I just realized these standoff, motherboard standoffs, I need to put underneath. <laughs> So uh, let me just figure out what the spacing and spacing is here. I need one here. I need one there. I need another one right here. And oh, wait a second. Is this the wrong way? That doesn't even fit there. Wait, that's funky. Uh, the motherboard standoffs don't even fit. Uh, this way. But then... Uh, I have it the wrong way. I have it the wrong way. Okay, hold on. I gotta flip it like this then. And there, another standoff there and there, and I need the other standoffs. Three, four, five, six. All right, I'll put the motherboard on the floor, or not on the box, and all right, now we're going to do all these little guys here real quick. Um, so one goes here, and we need to, this is the weird, this is the weird thing about this. Not sure if you guys can see that. Okay, there we go. Okay, that one's in. We're gonna do six more here. Is it still worth to mine in 2020? Yeah, for now it is, but for how much longer, I am not sure. That's always the gamble, and it's always unfortunate people are getting into mining now when they should have been into mining maybe last year when things were really cheap, and, you know, you're getting more of the rewards, and now all the coins have gone up, and uh, you could have could have profited that way. So I think getting into mining right now is kind of a bad thing because hardware prices are just 
way too expensive. Plus, your then that's just going to increase your your ROI or break-even point, whatever term you guys want to use. Uh, because we don't know in the next couple months, the next half year, the next year, we don't know if this is the, these profitability numbers are going to stay the way they are. And you guys know they never stay the way they are. It totally depends. Totally depends. I know everything seems bullish right now, but just uh, just hopefully people that are getting into it won't get pissed off that they're not making money and they lost money and didn't sell at the right time and you know this is this is a long game. This is this is not a this is not a get rich quick scheme. Uh, Panda, what is your favorite GPU for mining? Probably the. I think the Radeon Seven is still my favorite. I mean, uh, in terms of new buying, buying new like buying new GPUs, yeah, like the RTX thirty eighty. I think. Uh, the RTX 3080 is still, I think, really good. Um, but, um, uh, yeah, my Radeon 7s, I love my Radeon, I like, I just love my Radeon 7s sentimentally. Sentimental, sentimentally? Is that a word? <laughs> um... All right, putting in the motherboard. Red Panda DE KFC. Yes, yes, I do. Yes, I do. Uh, Techman, no, I have not tried ETC hash on Radeon 7 yet, but I'm assuming it gets the same, uh, same mega hash. I'm going to assume. Love KFC, man, of course. Panda, is profit increased year by year? Did you get more profit in 2019 than 2020? Well, uh, so, uh, gur gur Gurgly Adam, so I don't do it. For me, I hodl all of the profit, all of the coins that I mine. I, I play the long game. I play the game of um, uh, Bitcoin dominance. I play the altcoin dominance. Uh, that, that, that's something I've explained in many videos before that, you know, depending on when, hold on one sec, hold on, hold on, this is not going in, I'm playing the Bitcoin dominance and the altcoins, so if you guys know what that means, it's just, I'm, I'm, I'm doing it in a way that opportunity cost, so when you're mi when you're mining and hodling certain coins, or maybe hodling Bitcoin, and uh, you can trade within you can trade within the dominance areas. So, uh, so say you mined uh, what's a good example? Ethereum. Say you were mining Ethereum from 2018 all the way up until now. Basically, you probably definitely have broken even a lot. Um, like consider considerably like broken even like just just insane why is this not going in that does not want to go in i i can't tell you i can't give you a precise ex experiment but oh man that does not want to go why does not not want to go in are you a full-time YouTuber? No, I am not. I have a full-time job. If I was a full-time YouTuber, I would be super happy. But it does not, financially, it does not make sense to do that. Okay, this does not, guys, what's going on here? All right, I figured it out. I figured it out. He's a hand model since the, <laughs> that's all we ever see. <laughs> that my hands are the most ugliest hands ever.
about to say alignment. Yeah, Joshua Moore. Yeah, <laughs> the alignment. That fixed it, man. That fixed it. I just, I just unbuckled the screws a little bit and moved them over. All right. All right. The motherboard is in. Whew. Jeez. Okay. What is the next step? What is the next step, my friends? Um, so I think that's it. Uh, now we need to put in the power supply. Unbuck unbuckled the screws? Yes. Space goes. Yes. Don't laugh at me. Alright, we're using a Cooler Master. Uh, this is a V1200 Platinum power supply. This is actually from my 12 by P104 rig. And, uh, yeah. Okay, so I'm going to be putting it... I just realized I have the... Uh, I have the things the wrong way. Oh, man. Okay, this... This... The, uh... The power supply brackets are on the wrong side. Have you thought of playing games on a mining rig? Uh, no. I don't think that it's, that's not gonna... I mean, most mining rigs have, like, Celerons, but if you have, like, an i5 or an i7, then, yeah, you... Actually, no, you'd be limited on the PCIe. Uh, the PCIe Gen 1, I'm not sure you can, I'm not sure if you can game on a PCIe Gen 1. I don't, I don't think that, that's enough bandwidth. You, you need, you need to, you need the full X16 slot. So basically just a regular computer. You're making it into like a regular gaming, a regular computer. Okay. Alright, I need to flip this around. Okay, there we go. Now we can put it in. I'm gonna put the power supply on this side. The bottleneck is the riser. Yeah, exactly, Dan the Dane, the bottleneck is the riser. Max Voltage, love this video, making all the same mistakes when I put mine together. <laughs> Max Voltage, yeah. Uh, not the other side, why? Uh, so Max Voltage, the reason why I wanted the power supply on this side is because, um, two things. I'll show you in a second. Two things. Hold on, hold on. Let me just put this in. Max voltage. Max voltage. I'll answer your question in a second. Hold on. Let me, let me just put this in. Let me just put this other one in. Other side. Oh, I think I just cut my hand. Oh, shit. I mean, shoot. Uh, come on, get in there, All right, there we go. Oh, I just scratched myself, I'm not bleeding, I'm good, I'm good, I'm good. Okay, uh, max voltage. Uh, max voltage, I'll show you why, I'll show you why. So, uh, the reasons why I don't have uh, these, these brackets on the other side. Uh, so, one thing, I want the power supply on this side so I can power the plug on this side. Uh, so all the plugs for other stuff like internet cable is on this side as well. And then another thing, uh, the reasons why I have the power supply on this side is because the GPU, uh, you guys can see, or you can see here max voltage, uh, they're going to be sitting this way. Okay, uh, hold on, let me get a, let me get a, let me, let me get it here, let me get it here. Oh my god, I'm doing this with one hand. Okay. Alright, so there is a 5700, right, and the PCIe side. Okay, so that's why I want the power supply right here so that all the cables are routing through here and up through there. I, it doesn't really matter. I could do it on that side as well. Um, but that, that's, my, that's my reasoning. Um, I mean, front left versus front right. Uh, max voltage. I'm not sure what that means. 
Have you tried to change the function of the AMD cards from your graphics to compute to get better mega hash rate? Uh, melodic logins, log that doesn't matter on the 5700s, the Navis, or the Radeon 7s. That's only, that only matters on the 580 Polaris cards. There's only the compute mode there. Um, did your frame come with gloves too? Yeah, they did. <laughs> I'm not, I'm not using them. <laughs> I should, I should, I should be using them. Uh, I should be, I should be using them. You guys like my new table? It's, it's covered right now, but there it is. There's my new PC as well. Oh, not really new. I changed it into a new, uh, Corsair 280X, uh, uh, MATX case. Yeah, looks good with a RTX 2080 i7 10700K, 32 gigs of RAM. Okay, guys, let's keep it going here. Let's keep it going here. Um, okay, what am I doing next? What am I? What am I doing next, guys? What am I doing next? Oh, that is sweet, Josh Moore. Thanks, man. Rabbit mining. I have the same house. Yeah, I have the Razer uh, Razer Death Adder. I love the Razer Death Adder. <laughs> Saves the white gloves for a purpose, so leave him alone with that. Chan Coin, how dare you? Tell me the motherboard, please. Uh, this is the Gigabyte GAZ270P-D3. All right, let me bring in here just for let me bring in here just for Work Pro. Gigabyte Z270P-D3. I I think it's a I have a couple with a G3930 and four gigs of RAM. We're we're probably gonna put Hive OS on this whole this whole machine. Uh, sorry, on the on the on the SSD. Okay, guys, I actually have to go pretty soon, so I'm just gonna I'm gonna be putting in the power supply now. So let's put it in, let's put it in like like this. Okay. Oh man. Okay, there we go. And it's gonna sit like like this. Okay, I need to move I need to move the fifty seven hundred out. Oh video quality oh, much better. Yeah, I'm streaming from a, a different phone this time. Better a better phone. <laughs> Um, what time is it? It is 10.57. Oh, okay. I thought it was much later. Um, how do I screw this in? There we go. Ah, uh, okay, this bracket needs to go up a lot more. I'm having issues with this bracket. It's not being, not lining up with the, it's not lining up with the, uh, power supply here. Okay. There we go. Oh, that was way too high. Okay, that that was way too high. All right, that's hopefully much better. There we go. Yeah. Ah, uh, have to buckle the first screw first. Space notes, don't patronize me. Why can't you build the rig on an AM4 system? Is there a problem with AMD-based motherboards? Uh, Benny, there's no problem. I just have a whole bunch of these uh, Intel, Intel-based motherboards. <laughs> I just, I have a whole bunch of them. Like, just, just insane. I, I would love to do an AMD build. I just have so many of these. <laughs> okay, now next thing. Let's do it. Uh, we need to figure out the. We need to start plugging in the CPU. Uh, this is PCIe. What's this? CPU. Yeah, CPU cable. So I'm gonna try to try to do some cable management at the same time here.
Alright, so that's going to go in like so. And I need some zip. I need some cable ties. Ah. Whole bunch right here. Okay, um, now I need the 24 pin for the motherboard. That goes into uh, it goes into, and my kid is crying. Okay, there we go. Red cable ties for red pet. Exactly, exactly. I got the red ones just because of that. Um, now I want to, you know, do a little bit of cable management. I'm just going to put it, I'm just going to cable manage it around the, uh, uh, I'm going to do it around this thing here. I'm just going to build it like this. Not sure if this is the proper way, but decent. I'm going to bring it up here so you guys can see what I'm cable managing. I'm so glad I have this phone holder. I love this phone holder. It's, it's attached to my desk. So <laughs> I, can, I can use both hands now. Thank God. Thank God. Okay, we're looking good. We're looking good. Uh, Red Panda Mining, is your baby in the background? Is that your baby in the background? Yes, yes it is. I'm surprised he can hear that from here because he's way upstairs. Are you going to, what are you going to be putting? Uh, a 5700 XT and a 1660 Ti, but eventually I'm hoping to put another 1200 watt power supply. And... Uh, and uh, I want to do six 3080s. <laughs> that'll be that'll be quite that'll be very expensive. Eventually. How do I cable manage this? Oh man, this is so awkward. It's not even like the right length. Okay, right, there we go. How about like that? That's, that's decent enough, I think. And mind you, I, you gotta make sure that, you know, I have to space it in between um, where I, because where the GPUs are gonna sit, I don't want them to sit on top of these Velcro straps, so I have it like right in between each one. So yeah, I'm not, uh, I'm not ruining the, uh, the spacing for the GPUs. I mean, it's just so that they're not sitting on it, that's all. Viral, yeah, 5700 XT is still amazing, man. Crypto Mikel, Crypto Mikel, what's up, man? Mixed rigs for the win, yeah. <laughs> I'm now starting to do mixed rigs, yeah. Mikel, how are you? Uh, how much do you think this rig with 6 3080s will make daily? Uh, not that much, probably fifteen dollars at the moment. But it hashes like a monster. Okay. All right. So power supplies in. I got the twenty-four pin for the motherboard in. Um, what else am I missing? What else am I missing? Uh. So these are the PCIe. So these are the PCIe cables. Um, this came from another build, my EVGA 12 by, uh, yeah, 12 by EVGA build, and um, I obviously used more P more power supplies than just one. Uh, but what do I have all these for? So this is a, uh, this is Molex. This is another Molex. I don't think I need these. And here's the SATA, so that's for the SSD, so I'll leave that. I don't think I need, I don't think I need two, I don't think I need two Molex cables. 
I'm going to be using PCIe for everything. So let's take this out. Okay, so this Molex cable's out. Uh, we're just going to keep that over there for now. We're going to keep these over. These are like already decently cable managed already, but uh, probably have to take it out later. Okay. All right. So before I plug everything in, you know, well, I'm sorry, before I plug the GPUs in, I want to make sure this rig actually boots, you know, I want to make sure. So I do have a little LED screen here. Um, let me just, uh, let me just, I can only put it like this or else you guys will see my face. It's, this thing has a lot of glare. I know, I know, I know, I know what Chan Coin's waiting for, so. Alright, I'm just going to put it over here. I don't know if you guys can see that. Uh, I'm just going to put it right here. Alright. Ah, oh, come on. Right here. Right there. Alright, there we go. Yes, yes, I am waiting. <laughs> Chan Coin, I knew it. Yashnik, I knew it. Yashnik, what is up, man? Uh, no, I can't see the screen. And here comes the puff of smoke. No, please. Oh my god. If this goes up in smoke, I'll be so sad. Space goats. Okay. I need a... I need a power cable. I do not have a power cable. So, I need to go off screen for a second here. So, give me one sec. I Actually, is this a power cable? Nope, that's not long enough. That is not long enough. Um, I'll be right back. I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. I'm back. I got a power cable. Let's plug it in the wall and make sure it turns on. Okay. Uh Okay, um, HD Matu, never, never. Um, okay, uh, all right, power supply is plugged in. Um, do I need a mouse and keyboard? I do, or just a keyboard, just to go in the BIOS. I just want to make sure this, this thing actually actually works. Watch it like not work. Um, am I missing anything? I don't need the hard drive yet. I have the 8 pin in, the motherboard, power supply. We technically should be good. Alright, let's do it. Let's turn it on. Three, two, one. Oh, it turned on automatically. Okay. Yeah, something came up on the screen. Yeah, we got gigabyte. And we're in the BIOS. Perfect. Look at that. Oh, thank God. Okay. Um, I just realized <laughs> the keyboard I'm using doesn't have arrow keys. Oh, man. Oh, no, it does have arrow keys. Uh, hold on, is it down? Oh, I have to do function down, right? Yeah, there we go. You guys probably want to see. You guys probably want to see the screen. That's fine. I can show you guys the screen as long as it's not glaring right on my face. Uh, Rob FRC, where are people getting this screen from? Uh, from Amazon. I got it from Amazon. It's a seven-inch, seven-inch little tiny screen. 
Ooh, I have this set on Gen 2, so I'm gonna put this back to... I'm just gonna do Auto. Uh, for Hive OS. Some people say Gen 1's better, but... I beg to differ. Uh, iGPU, that's good. Ambient LED is off. Um, yeah, we don't need the ambient on. 4G decoding is enabled. And AC back always on. Yeah, I like that. That's why, that's why the motherboard turned on automatically. Um, HD audio... HD audio off. Yeah, 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 that's a good idea. Where is the audio? Audio controller enabled. Let's disable that. Audio controllers disabled. There we go. Uh, I'm going to turn off the parallel as well. Um, okay, I think that's it. Peripherals. Super I.O. configuration. Serial port is enabled. Oh, let's disable the serial port. Alright, serial port is disabled. Um, Gen 1 sometimes prevents the board from reading multiple cards. Why is Gen 1 better than Gen 2? Uh, I don't know. Hive OS, I've, I've done Gen... I've done Auto as well. Okay, you know what? I'm going to trust you guys. I'm going to do Gen 1. You know what? I'm going to do it this time. If I'm having issues, then I put it on Auto. Uh, miscellaneous settings. Gen... Gen 1. All right, we're going to save. Wait, how come it didn't save the... Uh... All right. All right, it's rebooting. It's going to burn. May, please, don't burn. Don't burn. I keep mine on auto. Emmanuel Matos, nice. Oh, uh, uh, Abdel Karim Bobby. Welcome. Thank you for subscribing. Thank you, good sir. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay, guys, that's it. Um, we're good. I'm going to shut this down. Okay, power supplies off. Uh, now, let me, let me burn. Uh, I need to burn a Hive OS. Uh, I need to do the whole Hive OS thing. So, um, that, can I bring you guys over here? Uh, let's just see. Oh man, let's go for a ride. Hold on. No, that's not gonna work. My thing is totally... You guys can read your own chat. One sec. Streamception here. One second. Okay, okay, so, I have a Kingston SSD here, all right, Kingston SSD, and uh, I was going to do Windows, but I'm, I'm going to stick with HiveOS this time. Uh, okay, I have a uh, SATA to USB adapter, all right, so this is how I'm going to, I'm going to be, I'm going to be burning the HiveOS image onto here, okay, so uh, we're simply just going to... We're simply just going to plug it in like so. And now I plug it into the USB port on my computer here. Oh, man. Okay. There we go. Okay. All right. So I'm just going to leave it. I'm just going to leave it hanging right there. And it uh, looks like it's got some stuff on it, which it doesn't matter. Okay. So let me bring up uh, Hive OS uh, install here. Okay. So... Uh, we need to, not sure if you guys can see that, but we need to install or download 
uh, the latest, I, I need to download the latest stable, stable image. So we're just going to do the zip one here. All right, so it's going to take about four minutes to download, and I'll show you guys how I'm going to burn. Uh, I'm going to show you guys how to burn it on there. Spectrum, red pen of mine, why is your RGB on your motherboard not turned on? Is it not turned on? Oh, you're right. My Asus, my Asus Strix RGB is not on. Wow, that's true. That's true, that's true. <laughs> uh, uh, wow, that's a long time. Space Goats, I have gigabit internet. It's not my internet. It's because of uh, HiveOS. Their servers are limiting the bandwidth. I have gigabit. <laughs> Guys, look at this. This 5700. This is... This is nice. This is really nice. Hold on. Let me open up the... While that's downloading... While that's downloading... We still have another minute. Um, let me open up the... Uh, let me open up the 1660 Ti... I love this card. This is the first TI I've, I've, I've ever owned. The first one. Uh, Red Panda Mining, how can you start your rig with only the PSU and without a screwdriver? Uh, Hunter Kadar, my motherboard already had the AC back on, the AC on, uh, in the BIOS. Uh, I've used this motherboard pre previously for mining, so um, uh, I, I, I already had that setting there. So you have to check in your BIOS for that setting. All right, 30 more seconds and HiveOS will be downloaded. All right, here is the 50, uh, 1660 Ti. Look at that. That's that's pretty nice. Look at the backplate. The metal backplate on this thing is baller. Single eight pin. Very nice. Very clean. And uh, we're gonna plug these two GPUs in today. I was gonna plug in my 3080. I'm gonna have a 3080 video tomorrow. But uh, look at that. This is pretty nice, guys. That's pretty nice. 1660. Okay. All right, uh, what are we doing now? What are we doing? Okay, uh, HiveOS is downloaded. All right, perfect. So we're going to go uh, make sure you have Bolina Etcher. Okay, so here's Bolina Etcher. And uh, it's a free download. Very easy, very easy to install HiveOS. Okay, so we're going to flash from file. Uh, we're going to go to my downloads folder, and it looks like the one I just downloaded is right here. Double click on that file, it'll select it. Now we need to select the target, which is going to be the 120 gig SSD, which is right here. Okay. Uh, hit select and flash. And oh, we're going to get command prompt. You're going to say yes on that, and it's going to start flashing. Okay. There we go. Very easy. Very easy to put on Hive OS. Oh, then we need to download. You need to go to your Hive OS and then make your uh, rig, rig config, uh, rig configuration. Um, you need to make a new worker. Um, that's really easy to do. PSA Raven now has higher profitability than ETC. Wow, max voltage. Really? Nice. A lot of those three gigabyte cards went over to ETC. <laughs> HiveOS paid for it. It's a HiveOS ad. No, no, HiveOS did not pay for this. Trust me. Trust me, HiveOS did not pay for it. That's why he didn't install Windows. No, pin pin six eight nine, you cannot be you cannot be even you cannot be wrong. Even more wrong. Uh, I'm, I'm now, I've been slowly moving to Hive OS because I've been realizing, uh, how, how easy it is to manage all your mining rigs with one, with one thing. It's just, it's just amazing. 
and a lot of people can agree. So, pin 689, no. <laughs> it's not, it's really not expensive. Uh, well, I can, if you, if you can't pay for it, then stick with Windows. That, obviously, you, you stick with Windows. But I have like, I have like 20 rigs. I have a lot of rigs. Okay, uh, Belina Etcher is just validating and there we go. Almost done. Abda Karim Babi is HiveOS more stable than Windows? It it it's the same. If you if you can get your your Windows, uh, you know, stable as in like turning off Windows Update, uh, services, a whole bunch of stuff, then you're you're then you're fine. Then then you're totally fine. Um, okay, guys, HiveOS is complete. Flash is done. I'm going to download my rig config, uh, and we are going to. Um, copy it into the HiveOS image. So sometimes, um, sometimes some people may, uh, you know what, we have to take this out to reset it. To We, we need to take it out and uh, plug it back in just so Windows can uh, see it. And if it doesn't see it, then you have to, if it doesn't see it, you have to open up computer management. And uh, depending if you have a lot of uh, drives already. You need to you need to give it a drive letter, okay? Oh, it looks like it already has a drive letter. So, um, where is it here? There it is. Hive. All right. So there you go. Hive is right there. Now we need to copy your rig config. I'm just gonna move it over and make sure it doesn't have the four because I've done this multiple times with other rigs. So it downloaded multiple rig configs. But there you go. You just copy that in and you're done. And make sure you safely eject your SSD from the bottom. Okay, there we go. And you're done. We got HiveOS. HiveOS on the SSD. It was that easy. All right, it was that easy. We don't have to go through installing Windows like crazy. Uh, Ray Copeland. Hey, man, just started following you. appreciate the content. Thinking of getting into mining. What do you recommend, ASIC or GPU? Uh, definitely GPU. ASIC for residential miner, in my opinion, is is not feasible. It's very loud, um, and they can become bricks. They're very risky unless you unless you're able to get the first batch of the ASIC miner. It doesn't make sense. It doesn't make sense to get an ASIC miner. Okay, all right, guys. I gotta move this over again. Uh, moving over. Okay, all right, I just realized something. I, okay, I have the power for the, uh, one sec. I have the power for the SSD, I think. Where is it? Right here. Okay, so we're gonna plug that in, but I just realized something. I don't think I have a, I don't think I have a SATA cable with me. Uh, the, 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 the SATA cable that goes into the motherboard and into the, into the SSD. I don't think I have one. Oh, man. Um, uh, let me think here. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I'll be right back. I'll be right back. I'll be right back. Be right back.
Huh. Well, um, a motherboard box. Uh, yeah, I already checked Trancoin. There's none there. Um, I think we are full. I'm using, yeah. The motherboard box was, uh, it didn't have anything in it. Um, well, uh, that, that sucks. I don't have a SATA cable. <laughs> Oh man. Oh my god, I cannot believe that. I cannot believe that. Okay, hold on. I'm just gonna put in the sixteen sixty here. Let's do it like uh let's do it like this. And uh okay, guys, um I'm yeah, I forgot to get a SATA cable. Oh man, I knew it. I knew something I knew I I knew I would be missing something. I just knew it. Use the USB cable you just used. What? USB cable? No, that... Th does that work? Will the USB cable... Underlay. What's underlay mean? USB flash drive. Ah, I hate using USBs. What you use to burn the SSD. Ah, you are correct. Well, let's, let's try it. I've actually never done that before. I've actually never used this to boot with the SSD. Uh, that, that, let, let's, let's see if that works. You know, I've never tried that before. So before we put in the GPUs, let's, let's see if that works then. I'm going to plug this into the USB 3. Wow, if that works, that'll be a, that'll be a, that'll be a, a time uh, saver for this uh, live stream here. Okay, uh, yeah, I'm just going to let it sit here for now, I guess. All right, let's just turn it on. Let's see if it goes into uh, Hive OS. I'll be very surprised. Temporary, temporary fix, yeah. Oh my god, it, it loads, it loads. <laughs> That's awesome. Wow. I cannot believe that. I cannot believe that actually worked. That's awesome. Work Crow. Hey, Work Crow. Thanks so much. Hey, that was a great, that was a great idea. That was a great idea. Wow. I did not think that would work. That's awesome. That's awesome. No different than USB storage. Yeah, that's true, tech man. <laughs> Uh, oh, 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 yeah, I don't have, I don't have internet. Um, oh, okay, hold on. Uh, okay, hold on, hold on. Oh, man. Okay, there we go. All right, I got a network cable. I'm just gonna plug it in here. Uh, I bet not, Space Goats, I have ethernet cables everywhere. Alright, it says it is upgrading. It is doing something. Starting daily download activities. That that sounds amazing. And my kid is crying like crazy now. Okay, um oh I need the keyboard. Uh, uh, let's see. Actually, I, I don't think I need the key. Is HiveOS working now? Yeah. Okay, so HiveOS, uh, yeah. Okay, so let me just see if it shows up in the web GUI here. One sec, one sec. Yes, it shows up in the web, web GUI. Uh, let me just show you guys real quick. Oh, oh, we have nothing, though. 
We, we have the motherboard, the CPU, G3930, 120 gig SSD, no GPUs, okay? So it's working. It showed up in HiveOS. Uh, so we are good to add a GPU, guys. Let's do it. Let's add the uh, 1660 Ti first. Okay, so I'm going to shut this thing down. Actually, how do I shut this thing down? Uh, I'm just going to go HiveOS, shut down. And will it shut down? Is this going to shut down? Yeah, there you go. Okay, beauty. All right, HiveOS for the win. Okay, um, guys, sorry, what, what is next? What, what am I doing? Don't spam chat, you'll be timed out, yeah. Um, what is next, guys? What is next? Okay, I said 1660 Ti, okay? So let's plug in the 1660 Ti. Uh, okay, so I'm actually going to use this side here. So I have three, I believe, yeah, three PCIe cables here. And... Uh, I need to take out all these uh, zap straps here. So we're using, we're going to use, we're, it has three strands. I'm going to use one strand per GPU uh, when I eventually add more GPUs. Um, so, okay, so I need to take out this. Wait a sec. This 1660 Ti only has one 8-pin. Um, so maybe I do not need to, uh, oh, wait a sec, I need a riser, hold on one sec, do I have a riser? I do have a riser, okay. Hold on, hold on, hold on, let me try, let me try putting in the riser first. Oh. Okay. I like locking, I like locking the risers in. Okay. Um, let me, let's just see here. Can is this cable long enough? Do I need? I, I do not want to use a splitter. These PCIe cables are never long enough. The ones that come with the power supplies, they're just never long enough to go into the riser and to the GPU. I have to use a splitter. Oh man. All right. Hold on. Hold on. Oh, I just realized something. I just realized something. Wow. Um, guys, I need to move the bar back. Oh no, look at that. The riser hits right up against the, uh, the bar. Oh man, plan is foiled. Okay, hold on, hold on. Ah, uh, uh, I gotta move the bar back. <laughs> I, ah, uh, there's always something. There's always something. Hold on, hold on, hold on. This this will be this will be quick. This will be quick. Uh, I just hope my cable managed cables here. I'm gonna all right there we go if I can even get it in the hole come on now you know I gotta do I gotta bring this other side here okay so yeah my cable management here is being uh, a little bit dicey here, but that's okay. Alrighty, that is much better. Get in the hole, RPM 2020. <laughs> Tech man, how dare you meme me? How dare you? How dare you meme me? <laughs> okay. All right. Okay, we're good. The cable management is also still decently good as well. All right, so let's try putting in the 1660 Ti. Let's see if it sits. Yeah, it sits good. It sits good now. 
There we go. At, right up at the very tip of the end of the uh, of the end of the thing here. Okay, so I'm gonna screw in the. Uh, here, let me bring you guys on the other side so you can see what I'm doing on this side of the 1660 Ti if my phone holder will let me. Uh, one sec. One sec. Alright, that's that's not the angle I wanted. Ah, oh, stupid phone holder. Alright, that's good enough. Alright guys. Um Okay. Uh I need to figure out here. So since the sixteen sixty TI I only need two eight pins or uh, one six pin and one eight pin. And the cable that is supplied with the power supply strand is too short. So, what I'm gonna do is, okay, I've, I'm on a single strand PCIe, just, just, just disclaimer, so people watching and you know, thinking like I'm gonna burn the mining rig, I'm not gonna. The single strand here, I am not gonna be using this eight pin because like I said before, it's, not, it's too short to go to the riser from the eight pin into the GPU. All right, so I have a brand spanking new, I just ordered these off uh, Alibaba. These are uh, eight pin, all right, look at that. Eight pin PCIe to dual eight pin. All right, so that is gonna go uh, like so. All right, so one end is gonna go into the GPU, the other end is gonna go into the riser. All right, I hear baby, yeah, I hear the baby too. <laughs> All right, so actually I gotta plug in the GPU first. And I need some screws first, I need some screws. And that screw does not fit, that screw does not fit. Ah, these ones. Whoa, 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 who just donated? Who just donated $10? Holy smoke, Ray Copeland. Ray Copeland, thank you. This is awesome. Jumping from my first question, what GPU rig would you recommend for a beginner like me? I have a 2K budget. Is that USD or Canadian? I see you're a dad as well. Same here, three-year-old, two-year-old, and a four -year -old. Wow. Ray Copeland, you are a monster, man. I don't know how you do it. I can't even, uh, I can't even think, I can't even, I can't even comprehend having another kid. Uh, USD, Ray Copeland. Okay, Th Ray Copeland, thanks for the donation, man. Um, so, a beginner rig right now? Uh, yeah, I mean, GPUs are really expensive right now, but if you can try to find used Okay, this is, like I said, this is a beginner rig, beginner rig. Um, if you can find used, just RX, uh, an RX 580, like a single RX 580 and a 1660 Super or a 1660 Ti used, okay? Um, don't spend 2K right off the bat. I, 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 want you to, I want you to play around with two GPUs first, an AMD and an, and an NVIDIA, so you can you can just, you know, understand how it all works before, before you get into mining full bore, all right? Um, I always recommend that to everybody who is uh, wanting to get into mining because it's, it, you have to learn, you have to try it out first before you do, you, before you go full bore. 
And I'm not saying like 2K is full bore, but 2K is a lot of money. And for for two thousand dollars USD, you can buy like a 580 for used for like a hundred bucks, and you can find like a 1660 Super or a 1660 Ti for I don't know, 200, 250 used, uh, 200 used, maybe lower. So just do do it slowly. Uh, do it slowly, Ray Ray Copeland. Thank thanks for the donation, man. Hopefully that hopefully that helps. Facebook Marketplace, yeah, exactly. Um, okay, guys, I'm gonna plug in the 1660 Ti here, power, and the riser. So we're gonna go like that. And this end is gonna go into the riser from good old gprisers.com. Thank you, gprisers.com for the risers. Guys, go check them out if you need risers. And Ray Copeland, this is for you. If you need to buy risers, go to go to gprisers.com and uh, uh, use use coupon code Red Panda Mining and for five dollars off. Okay. All right. All right. Uh, so Ray Copeland, I hope that uh, answers your question, buddy. I don't see a response there, but uh, hopefully, hopefully you're good. Okay. Um, all right. So guys, uh, let me take you out here. All right. So the 1660 Ti is plugged in. A uh, single 8-pin and a 6-pin, and I'm using a splitter because the power supply strand is just too short. It does have two 8-pins on each strand, but the other side of it, just to show you guys, okay? Here's the other strand, but I am not using it. So theoretically, we are just, we are splitting on this side. It's basically like like having another splitter on this angle, but we're not using this. We're using the single strand 8-pin uh, split it off the 8-pin PCIe to dual 8-pin uh, dual there. Okay, so hopefully that makes sense, guys. Thank you. Uh, wow, Felipe, thank you for the donation. $5 dono. Thank you so much, man. Dang, you guys are, you guys are crazy. Okay. All right, it's time to turn this ring on. Oh, nope, I totally forgot something. I totally forgot to put in the USB cable. So, the USB uh, PCIe, this is, this, is, this is the thing that goes into the wire. Um, so, let me just uh, secretly put it down here. Actually, I can't even see. Felipe, thank you so much. Okay. <sighs> um, okay, now uh, we're going to plug this other side into the motherboard. So, generally, in my experience, it doesn't really matter which one you start off with, but I like to do it um, on, depending on which side the, uh, the, the, you know, the GPUs are at. So, I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to put it on uh, this side here. And make sure, when you put in this little PCIe adapter, that it lines up. So you see the big part here of the PCIe, the PCIe one adapter, it has to match up with this little this this little part right here, this little slit right here. Okay, I've seen people I've seen people do it this way. I've seen people do it the other way, and they put it like that, and that will burn your motherboard. Okay, that will burn your motherboard. Make sure you have it the correct way, like this. All right, just just an example, just show you guys, like that. All right, you need to make sure you have it like that. All right, if you have it the other way, oh man, I've seen it. If you have it the other way, which unfortunately it fits, if you have it the other way, it'll burn your GPU, burn your motherboard. So uh, please, disclaimer for people that are just getting into mining, uh, make sure you have this PCI adapter the correct way. Okay, that's that's a that's a pretty big one. Uh, Jim, what the heck? Jim, why are you, Jim, why are you donating to me? Jim, Jim, 
you keep your money. Love you, Big Red. Keep it up, bro. Slower build, ever complicated, uh, ever compared to mine. Slower build ever compared to mine. Oh, <laughs> I see. <laughs> Thanks, Jim. Thank you, Jim. Um, mining chamber. I am guilty of that. <laughs> oh, mining chamber. Too funny, man. Okay, guys. I think that's it. So let's uh, let's go ahead and let's go ahead and turn it on, shall we? Let's do it. Um. So uh, let's uh, let's go to uh, what, what am I what am I doing? What am I doing? Okay, let's turn it on. Make sure nothing goes on fire. All right, the 16 Ti is on. All right, everything's on. We see the gigabyte screen. Let's see if it goes into Hive OS here. Okay, it's loading, it's loading, I think. Give it a second. Yeah, there we go. Waiting for network. Oh, I didn't have the network cable plugged in. Oh my God, okay, there we go. Space goats, what do you do? Space goats, why do you do, why did you, ah. Space goats, don't donate me, God damn it. Funds for the webcam so you can stream properly and get off the stupid phone. <laughs> I, I have webcams. I already have webcams. I just have it in my other location. Uh, all right. Space Goats, thank you for the $10. Uh, okay. So here is a 1660 Ti. It showed up. Um, so now let's go to Hive OS and let's just make sure uh, it shows up here. All right. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to bring you guys real close here okay so uh let's do a refresh here it's loading it's not loading i don't know why it's not loading oh my god hive os is really slow hold on i need to see the chat here i can't see your guys's chat okay um space goats thank you for the thank you for the donation um, feet cam today, Roman God? No, no feet cam. Okay, Hive OS is not loading. Oh, come on. Come on. Really? I'm refreshing again. Uh, I think Hive OS was... Uh, max voltage. Someone needs to donate money for a great monitor with glare. Oh, max voltage. <laughs> oh, man. Uh, Dan the Dane. Look at the LED. Is it blinking HDD? Is that red? What? I don't... I don't see I don't see any red on the uh, hard. Oh yeah, there's a little red thing on the adapter. StarTech adapter. Okay. Um, okay. Wh why did why is why is HiveOS not why is HiveOS not running? Okay, HiveOS is definitely down. Oh. No, it works now. It works now. Okay, there we go. Oh, I got. I'll change the screen for you guys. Okay. All right, we have the 1660 Ti. It shows up. So I'm actually gonna update to the latest version. It looks like uh, we're not on the latest version. So we're gonna do a quick upgrade here, and uh, it's going to self reboot right now. So uh, wait for that. And uh, let's do the update. And look at that, guys. The 1660 Ti is beautiful. Look at this guy. Look at this card. This is the MSI. This is the Gaming X edition. Twin Frozer. And, uh, oh, oh, looks like the fans are coming on. Backside there. Look at the LEDs from GPRisers.com. Looks... Pretty good. It looks pretty good. Okay. All right. It looks like the rig is restarting. Yeah, it's just restarting. Okay. And uh, it's coming back up. Okay. 
All right, so uh, let me put you guys back here. Um, Crypto Macau, you have one too? Nice. Love that card? Yeah, dude, I love it. It looks so good, man. Looks so good. Okay. Um, all right, guys, I'm just going to give it a uh, flight sheet here. Give me one sec. I gotta just put the Ethereum. Uh, we're just gonna do Ethereum. I I don't think anything else. Uh, actually, Conflux. Conflux. I heard Conflux is really profitable on the 1660 Ti, but I'm not gonna do that in this video. Um, let's just do uh, Ethereum. We're gonna use T Rex Miner. I like T Rex now for Nvidia cards. Um, okay. Uh, now we need to do the config. So this is where I can get your guys' help. I've never played around with a 1660 Ti uh, for overclocking in Hive OS. So what do you guys recommend? What do you guys recommend? What what, what do you guys what do you guys recommend for overclock on this thing? I could also go to popular presets and just do ETH. Uh, I can do 1660 Ti. Uh, there we go. Oh. There we go. So people do 2150 on the memory, 75 power limit. 75 power limit. Is that what you guys do? Uh, what coin do you mainly mine? Viri. Uh, Ethereum and Ethereum Classic at the moment. Nice hash added Octopus CFX. Yeah, max voltage. Yeah, I know. Nice. I saw that. Nice hash on Conflux. Um. Uh, nine mining chamber, 950 mem, 70 power limit. Okay, 70 PL. Okay, what about the memory? It looks like it looks like uh, the memory. Yeah, Hive OS doubles the memory. So let's do. Let's do what Space Goats. Let's do what Space Goats just said. 70 power limit, and uh, let's do. 18, let, let, let's do 1800 mem, 1800 mem first. All right, so config is changing. Oh, it's already mining. Oh my God, it's already mining? Okay, uh, 25 mega hash. All right, well, we just added the uh, mem overclock, so this is probably gonna, let's give it a refresh. Still 25. Uh, let's go to, let me type in minor. I can type in minor on the software. On the screen. And it doesn't show the hash rate on the minor itself. That's weird. Let's refresh. Should say 30 something. Oh, it says 23. All right, it's going lower. Uh, 69 watts. There, that's a that's a great number. Um, do I need to change the core? I'm gonna put 60 for the fan. Uh, for better hash rate, maybe 75 pl. Well, let let me try. Let me try. Uh, why are we getting 23? That's weird. 23 mega hash. Um, ETC, e e hash. this is on Ethereum. Oh, do the 1660 TIs, or the 1660 series, do they have the DAG issue? Guys, does the 1660 TI have the DAG issue on Ethereum? No, right? Wait, why am I getting 23 mega hash? What? Something's wrong. Hold on. I I'm going to give this a I'm going to give it a reboot. I'm let me, let me just reboot it after overclocking. Mine mines without any issues 31 mega hash. Okay. No, the the, the TIs should be able to get 30 as well. That's that's really strange. Uh, I just saw Crypto Mikel's message here. Minus 200 core. Okay, minus 200 core. Let's do that. Minus 200. 
Um, 2200 on the memory. All right. 80 power limit. Okay, 80 power limit. Let's do it. Apply. All right. Okay. All right, the rig is just booting back up. It's just booting back up. Okay, it looks like it's coming on. And it should start mining in a second here. Uh, why do you prefer 1660 Ti over the RX 580? Uh, Abd Karim Bobby, I, I honestly, I just wanted to play around with a 1660 Ti. I saw one uh, for sale on Amazon, so I just picked it up. Um, I think the 1660 Ti, in my opinion, I mean, depending on the price, it's a good buy, but the RX 580 at the moment is still like king in terms of ROI, in terms of break even, whatever term you guys want to use. Um, okay, so it looks like it's, uh, hold on, let me just see in the little screen here. All right, it's just, it's just hashing right now, so. There we go, there we go, 31 mega hash. That looks much better. Much better, guys, much better. Oh, man, okay. Crypto Mikel, thank you for those uh, hash rate numbers. Uh, overclock settings. 31.23 mega hash. That's killer. And at 80 watts, 80 watts power consumption. That's pretty baller. That's pretty baller. Um, yeah, actually comparing it to my... Comparing it to my uh, 1063 gigabyte rig, um, my cards are also doing, uh, I can just show you guys right here, uh, they're doing uh, 80 watts as well, but only at about 24 to 25 mega hash. Uh, these are Samsung memory uh, 1063 gigabyte cards. Um, so yeah, I mean, we're getting much better efficiency on the uh, 1660 which is uh, still still pretty amazing. 31.23 mega hash is right, but at 75 watts, yeah. 80, 80 watts, yeah. Um, at Apple John, uh, okay, Larry, let me let me get the let me get the link for you. Uh, Larry, let me get the link for you. I have a I have a special link here. If you are looking to get one. I have the screen right here. Thank you for the donation as well, Apple John. I just I just put the link in the live chat. You guys can click that, and you'll see the exact screen that I bought. Um, there. So, guys, look at that. It's mining. It's doing well, and I can show you guys the little screen here. Look at that, we're getting 31.24 mega hash, uh, 30 milliseconds, that's to ether mine. And that's that's going good, look at this, look at this little build that we just did today, it's it's awesome. It's awesome, okay, all right, we're not done, we're not done, we're, we're, gonna, do, we're gonna go real quick here, I need to add the uh, 16, so actually guys, I'll be right back, I just need to make sure, uh, uh, hold on. I, I think I had to go soon. I think I had to go, but let me, let, let me, I'll be right back. I'll be right back. Actually, I'll just show you guys the GPU. How about that? All right. Um, uh, tech man, red panda, can you drop the power limit down to 70? Yeah, sure. Uh, let's do it. Let's do 70 power limit. All right. I'm going to hit apply and I will be, I will be right back. Oh, I think the stream died. Did the stream die? Are we still good, guys? Is the stream still on? Yeah, we're still good. We're still good. Okay. Um, tech man, tech man, to answer your question, yeah, we dropped down to 25 mega hash. 
So setting it to 70 power limit, uh, dropped it down to 25. That's that's quite a drastic. That's quite, that's quite a drastic drop. 25 mega hash, and the monitor also shows 25 mega hash as well. So yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna put that I'm gonna put that baby back up to 80. I like that 31, 32 mega hash. There we go. All right. Okay. Uh, guys, I'll be right back, and then uh, we'll see if we're going to add the uh, 5700 XT, if I have time to do that or not, okay? Um, be right back. Be right back. Okay. All right, I'm back. We're good, we're good, we're good. Okay. So. <clears throat> uh, yeah, guys, we are back up at 32 mega hash. And uh, those are the overclock settings we're using. Uh, minus 200 core, 2200 memory, 2200 memory, and 80% power limit. Thank you to Crypto Mikel for those settings. Um, okay, and, uh, all right, guys, let's, uh, let's shut her down, let's shut her down, oh, well, let, let, let's, let's shut this thing down, and, um, let me get this, let me get this thing back up. Okay, it shut down, and we are going to add the 5700 XT. Okay, thank you to mineshop.eu for sending me this freaking... I cannot believe he sent this to me, I don't know why. Uh, but thank you so much, Mr. Mineshop.eu. So we're going we're gonna to take off the plastic here. Oh yeah, perfect, beautiful, beautiful, okay. And uh, this is the Ace of Strix 5700 XT. So, let me uh, get a riser here. Plug it in like so. Thank you guys for being here, by the way. Wow, we have 140 people watching. Not Only 97 likes, four dislikes. Thank you for the dislikes, helps the YouTube algorithm. Uh, smash the like button guys. Thank you guys for being here and thank you for the donations for today as well. You guys did not have to do that, but thank you so much. Um, thank you for the more dislikes. Thank you. We're at six now. Thank you, Spectrum. What rig is this? Uh, mod slaying games. I'm just building a uh, test mining rig right now. Um, so I have a 1660 Ti and a uh, 5700 XT. So we're gonna just we're just gonna see what hash rates we get, and yeah, I just built this today. Uh, this whole rig, I built the AAA Wave mining frame, and uh, yeah, this is just gonna be it's it's at my new location here where I'm I'm setting up. Uh, so 
Okay, let's just put this guy in, and uh, actually we need to figure out the PCIe here. Oh, the PCIe cabling, okay. So... Um, Alright, uh, so we have, we have to fill in the two 8 pins on the 5700. Uh, so what we can do is we're going to be using one strand, which will definitely be enough. Um, but we need to add a splitter to the strand, but we're going to have to use both um, both 8 pins on this single strand here. <clears throat> okay, so uh, we're going we're gonna, to we're gonna take a splitter here. Okay, so I'm going to take this splitter. Um, so I'm going to, what I'm going to do is I'm going to be splitting off the other 8 pin here. Uh, wait, actually, let me think about this. Let me think about this. So I want, we need three. We need to have three plugs for, uh, one for the riser and two for the 5700 XT. Um, so which one, which, which side would you guys split? Let me know. You, you want, would, I, would you split the right side or the left side? Which, which side would you, which one would you split? Let me know. Left or right? What do you guys think? Split the left side or split the right side? Right, 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 right. Yeah, everyone's saying right. Okay, beautiful. So let's do it on the right side. Okay. All right. So what I'm going to do now, um, this end here is going to go into, wait, okay, all right, all right, just to show you guys, now, now, what, now, what do you guys think, what do you guys think we're going to do here, which plugs are going to go into the GPU, let, let me know your thoughts, so, let, I'm thinking left for the riser, and these two into the GPU, the two 8 pins into the GPU, what, what do you, what do you guys think, what do you guys think? Splitted plugs to GPU, right for the GPU, right to receive, left to, left to the riser, right? Send it. <laughs> Rob FRC. <laughs> GPU pulls them. Yeah, obviously. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Dan the Dana, exactly. GPU pulls the most. So, um, yeah. So I'm thinking we do the splitter. We do the splitter. The splitted part, both of them, eight pins into the dual eight pin into the fifty seven hundred. Yeah, that that's what I was thinking. So I was thinking like this. Uh, this is the riser, and these are the GPUs. And uh, spacing wise, it should be pretty perfect. So if I were to, if I were to fit the PCIe in here, just let me do that now. See, it fits perfect. All right. The PCIe is in perfectly in the bottom. Now I have enough room to put in the uh, eight pins at the top. And let me bring you guys up here a little bit more. All right, so now we have enough spacing to... The GPU. <laughs> the GPU dropped, guys. It dropped. But I think we're okay. <laughs> it dropped from... It landed on its front. I, I think we're fine. I think we're fine. We'll see, though. We'll see. I, th I think we're good. We're still we're still okay. Uh, here, hold on. Uh, let me let me screw in the GPU before we do anything here. Whew. All right, nice and easy. Nice and easy. I'm loving this, by the way. Chris James, thanks, man. This is fun. I like doing this. The front fell off. Yeah, <laughs> it will be fine. It will be fine. Everything is fine until it isn't. Okay. Alrighty, there we go. Okay. 
All right. All right, it's in, guys. Okay, it's now more stable, more rock solid. Okay, let's get back to the riser situation here. Or no, the PCIe cabling, because this is very important. This is very important. And, uh... All right, let's do it. Plug it in, one in this side, and we're going to do the other side. Uh, like this. Oh, nope. Like this. Mining chamber. Mining chamber. Did you just post a video? Mining chamber. I did... Mining Chamber, did you just post a video? I, I just got a notification on my on my on my on my phone. Um so everybody please go watch Mining Chamber. <laughs> How do you know, damn it? <laughs> of course we know. <laughs> uh Okay, guys, it's in. We're done. We're done. We're done. Um and I still have another strand here for another GPU. And I still have another three more strands of uh, PCIe cables uh, f for another three GPUs. So uh, this is a 1200 watt power supply, just in case you guys are wondering. All right. Um, okay, so now, okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna fix this uh, riser cable here with the power supply. The power supply cabling is not the best, but that's okay. Okay, oh, I forgot to plug in, I <laughs> always forget. I gotta plug in the USB cable, and that goes into the riser, okay, like so, right over here. Okay, and guys, disclaimer again, don't plug it in backwards, all right? There's only, well, there's two ways it can fit, but people have put it in this way, all right? So don't put in your PCIe riser this way, because it'll burn your motherboard and GPU. You gotta make sure you put it in the correct way. This this little thing right here, it fits in the exact slot in the first the first PCIe part here. All right, so make sure you have it like this, and not not this way because that will that will burn your motherboard. All right. Okay, we're done. We're done. We're done. We have we have both GPUs in, and uh, let me just put this down here. Okay, cable management can come after. We still have another strand here for another GPU. All right. Okay. Triple check all of the cables. Just just make sure all of the things are plugged in because it sucks when nothing is going right and something is wrong. And, uh... Yeah, I did move this. This thing did drop, so we're okay. We're okay. Okay, guys, um, let's do it. Let's do it. Let's build this thing. Uh, or let's turn it on. Uh, we already built it. All right, so three, two, one. Should power on automatically. And yeah, the 5700 XT in all of its glory. Look at that. The Asus Strix model. So nice. So beautiful. Okay, so yeah, the motherboard just turned on. Hive OS is loading. Oh, Crypto Nuffy. Crypto Nuffy, what is up, man? Crypto Nuffy. Hey, I have been unmodded. Ah, uh, Crypto Nuffy, I will mod you here in a second. Um, uh, Space Goats, moderator. Yashnik needs moderator. All right, Yashnik, your moderator. Nuffy's modded. Uh, Space Goats is modded. Chan coin is modded. All right. Thank you guys. All right. Okay. Uh, looks like Hive OS is on, and let me. Uh, let's go. Oh, let's go to Hive OS itself and uh, see if it shows up. I'm gonna do a refresh here. Yeah, we show two GPUs. Perfect. Perfect, perfect. Um, okay, I just realized something. Does T-Rex Miner support AMD cards? Does T-Rex does, does Miner support AMD cards? I just realized that right now. No, it doesn't. T-Rex only supports NVIDIA. Ah, uh, okay. I need to use a miner that's both 
compatible with AMD and uh, okay, hold on. I need to make a new flight sheet here. Let me make it. Let me let me make a new flight sheet. Um, yeah, I just saw that. Um, Michael V. I just saw that. Yeah, in the flight sheet. Okay, let me just make a new flight sheet. One sec. Uh, Ether mine. Ether mine. U.S. West. Miner. We're gonna use Phoenix Miner. All right. Create flight sheet. All right. Done. 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 Um, let's go here. I'm gonna choose. Oh, I'm gonna choose the flight sheet. There we go. Configurating. Okay. Oh, guys, we need to do the overclock for the 5700. Um, this is not BIOS modded or anything. So, what do you guys think? Uh, AM, AM, AMD side. Uh, uh, crap. It's probably mining right now. Um, core clock. We're going we're gonna to do 1400. Uh, core voltage. Let's, can we, can we do 800? Will it let me go down to 800? Um, core memory clock. Let's just do eight, eight, ten. I'm just doing this by memory right now. I don't even know if that's going to work or not. Um, uh, Khaled, 1450, 800, 930. 930? Uh, let's do 9, 810 for now. Alright, let, let, let's try it. Let's try it. Let's try it. Uh, all the settings are trying to be applied right now. Um, oh, we're getting 48 mega hash right off the bat. But we're using a lot more power consumption. 100 and, uh, 170, 176 watts, which is a lot. Uh, you know what, I'm going to give it a reboot, because, uh, yeah, the overclocks, I just changed the overclocks. Alright, it's, it's rebooting, it's rebooting. Um, lowest is stock, lowest is 875, Khaled, okay. Alright. Alright. Mem clock is too low. Oh, okay. 810. All right, fine. All right, fine. I'll, let me boost it up to, uh, let me boost it up to 830. Let's do 830. I think that's the max without doing any uh, Igor or Igor's lab. Okay, HiveOS is just booting up. Yeah, yeah, CryptoNuffy, I, I converted you over to my evil plan. Yes, you did. CryptoNuffy, I am now on HiveOS. I'm now on HiveOS. Oh, wait, 9.30. Oh, did I, did I do 8.30? Oh, my bad, my bad, my bad, my bad. 9.30. Oops, 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 oops. Oh, man. All right, hopefully that changed. 9.30, okay. All right, let me just see in the minor little screen here if it changed. Uh, yeah, it's ramping up. It's ramping up. Hold on, let me bring you guys there. Thirty one point one mega hash and fifty two fifty two fifty two point eight oh fifty three mega hash on the Asus Strix fifty seven hundred XT stock. This is not BIOS modded. Nothing. Look at that. Straight off the bat. Um how many watts are we using? Uh it says we are using 114 watts in the software. Um, 114 watts, uh, 80 watts for the uh, 1660 Ti, so that's correct. So the 5700 XT, I know, give or take, it takes another 30 watts at the wall. So realistically, I think we're at like 150 watts on the, uh, on the 5700 XT. So guys, there we go, 53, 53, uh, 53 mega hash. That's awesome. Oh, uh, Khaled, Khaled just said use H stats too. That's a good, that's a good call. 
That's a good call. How do I, uh, how do I add that? Khaled, how do I add that? Crypto Nuffy, I had to pull one of my rigs off from the cave today. Head has issues, so there goes the rest of my Sunday. Ah, Crypto Nuffy, nice. Flight cheat, tuning. Uh, ha, ha, tuning, okay, tuning. Um, flight cheat, minor config, okay. All right, flight sheet, minor config, edit, setup, minor config, and extra arguments. Ah, there you go. Dash H state or stats? Isn't it H stats? H stats two? H stats two, okay. Apply changes, update. All right. It is applying the update now. Okay, it looks like it stopped mining. Um, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Uh, so the HTATS2 is supposed to show the memory temperatures. So yeah, well, I'm curious about the memory temperatures. Crypto Nuffy noob. I am a noob, okay? <laughs> Screw you guys. <laughs> uh, I think I need to quit the stream. Panda is killing me. Chancoin, you're killing me. You know what? You're killing me. All right. You guys can see we are now getting... Uh, well, the hash rate is still, is still auto-tuning. So we're going to let that go for a sec before we can see the temperatures. Uh, 52. Okay, whoa, memory temperature is 88C. That's actually pretty high. That, that, that's pretty high, right? Michael, the entrepreneur, love the channel, Panda. Are you still mining Aeon? Um, uh, not at this moment. Due to, I believe, FPGAs are potentially on it right now. Oh, the rig just restarted. Something just happened. Something just happened. Oh, wait, it went up to like 92. It's getting hot. It's getting really hot. Let's refresh it. Oh. It restarted. Something restarted. Is the 5700 XT getting too hot? I saw smoke. Crypto Jason, there is no smoke. If there was smoke, I would be smelling it, Crypto Jason. How dare you? <laughs> uh, 85 to 90C is typical. Ah, uh, okay. You at a hundred percent fan speed? Um, no. Uh, what? No, it's at zero percent fan speed. It should be at like sixty. That's weird. What fire extinguisher brand is recommended by fan <laughs> Zotrack? How dare you! <laughs> Uh, Zotrak, you're too funny, man. Wait, what? So why did the rig restart? I'm so confused right now. Okay, let's let's type in miner, and it is now. Yeah, it's going back again. But why did the rig? Why did the rig restart? I'm so confused. Oh yeah, this 5700 has. Uh, more fan, uh, more fan plugs, so I can add more fans if I needed to. Ah, weird. Is it, is it Phoenix Miner or is it the rig? Eighty-eight degrees Celsius on the junction memory temperature. Um, fifty-three mega hash, thirty-one. So we're getting the proper hash rates. And, 
Yeah, it shows up in Hive OS just fine. The fans are at 60 and 62%. Should I just boost it up even higher? Um, let's just do, let's just do, let's just do 80. Will it, will it let me do 80? Phoenix Miner. 100% fan. Jim, send me your BIOS so I can mod it for you. Sure. Overclocking. Download VBIOS. Uh, let's let's see here. Micron. This is a Micron GDDR6. And uh, download. All right, we're downloading it now. I'll drop your temps. Okay. I like that, Jim. Sure, sounds good. Hold on, just downloading it now. Okay. Uh, downloaded. I think. Yeah. All right. Jim, hold on. Let me send this on Discord. Hold on. Hold on. Uh, let me put my phone down. Okay. Uh, I need Discord. I need Discord. Where is Discord? Okay. So, Jim, I'm just going to plop this over into the chat, mod chat. Chencoin, don't talk on the mod chat. What are you doing? Ch Chencoin, how dare you? Jim, I just dropped it in Discord. Yeah, I just dropped it in Discord. Um, okay, it's still going, guys. It's still going. 53 mega hash. We're still at 88 Celsius. 31 degrees on the 1660 Ti. Um, so I think we should be able to get like 56 mega hash on the, uh, 5600 XT or even, even higher. Uh, but Jim, one of my mods is going to, uh, is going to mod the, uh, BIOS. So, uh, Jim, yeah, we'll give that a try in a sec, man. Yeah. Let me know, uh, in discord there. Oh, Khaled. Yeah, you're right. You're right. You're right. There is a, uh. There's an issue modding the 5700 XT, the Asus Strix ones specifically. Uh, Jim, that BIOS may not work. Um, Jim, that BIOS may not work. Uh, hold on, Jim. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. There's one from Crypto Peasant. Uh, hold on, let me get the mega upload link here. Jim, Jim, if you're watching this, go go to mod chat. Go check the uh, mega upload link there. You have to download the ASUS Strix 5700XT old stock uh, ROM, I believe. True, the 5700 BIOS fails on me. I know they had some they had some problems. Yeah, he will send you the correct flash. Yeah, I know we we have the same we have the correct BIOS as well. Um, we had a lot of people on discord had the same issue as well. So, oh yeah. Uh, Yashnik, get on, on the upcoming a Aeon poker tournament. Check out Red of Mining's announcement channel on discord and get yourselves registered. Yes, guys get in on the poker tournament. Oh my God. Get in on that poker tournament guys. $4,500 USD worth of crypto okay hold on let me, let me put it over here look at that we look at the prizes this is the prizes for the poker tournament everyone is invited to the poker tournament and uh guys come on my discord how learn how to participate very easy there's a google doc uh here and uh yeah okay so um Yashnik, thank you so much, man. It's not rocket science. Jim, <laughs> Jim. Uh, too funny. Too funny. Yeah, come on, guys. You guys can play poker. Okay, so just to let you guys know, it's still going. I don't know why the rig restarted before. It's really strange that this rig restarted, but now we're. it's been six minutes. 53 mega hash, 31 mega hash, 
and uh, we are we are mining pretty good so far. Okay, um, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna wait for Jim to send me the BIOS. And, uh, one second. It's not hit. <laughs> For sure, Jim. Jim, are you unlocking the millivolts down to 750? Should be able to go down to 750, I believe. I'm not sure, actually. Um, uh, five, five minute gone and back now. Anything caught on fire yet? <laughs> Nothing. <laughs> uh, Nuffy, I love you. Nuffy, you're the best. You're the best. You are the best. Um, XD cards default start at 750 core. Oh, really? I did not know that. I thought, I thought, yeah, I thought default was 800. But looks like it's, uh, yeah, they, yeah, these splitters are, these splitters are working good, Spectrum. I got, I bought 200, 200 of them off uh, Alibaba and they're, Baller. Like, super good. Nice and thick. Nice and thick, too. Khaled. Non-XT is 800. Ah, okay. Uh, Pete Conway. Red Panda Mining, do you have a link to Alibaba splitters? Uh, I do. I do have the link, but you need to, you need to order more than 100. Minimum order quantity is a hundred splitters. So you have to be prepared to spend like hundred and fifty, two hundred dollars. <laughs> um uh Pete uh one sec. Pete Pete, let me find it for you. Let me find it for you. Nerd Nerd Gears is gonna have them in stock real soon as well. Um, the uh, splitters, okay? So I'm bringing you guys down here. This, this thing does not focus. Um, red shirt reveal spectrum. Uh, Pete Conway, yeah, you should be able to. Okay, I have the Alibaba link right here. You guys can check it out. Uh, Pete Conway, that's for you. That's the splitters, but the minimum order quantity is 100. So check it out. Shipping, shipping is expensive, plus uh, import taxes. Import, import tax is expensive as well, so. Oh yeah, that's my other, that's my other rig. You guys can see. Uh, this is a, uh, I have a 470, 8 gigabyte, a 580, 8 gigabyte, the Sapphire Limited Edition. I have another Sapphire RX 470, 8 gigabyte, which is the mining edition. And then I have the 5600 XT, a 5700 XT, and my another 5700 XT 50th anniversary edition. Uh, 
uh, uh, Navi AMD cards. So these are all AMD, and it's mining Ethereum at the moment. Like, 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 just, just amazing, just amazing. Okay, um, guys, I think I'm gonna call it. I think I'm gonna call it. I have to. I have to go now. Um, Jim, unfortunately, we're not gonna be doing the BIOS mod now. So uh, we will. We will do the BIOS mod later guys I, I will do another video I, i'll make a video um I, I can i can post the bios mod there as well um uh yeah so anyways uh guys thanks for being here um this was a fun live stream thanks for yeah <laughs> thanks for the donations as well building building the mining frame and uh putting the motherboard power supply yeah, it was good. It was good. It was good. And then, uh, yeah, the hash rate, we're still able to get about 53 and 31.1, 31.2 on the 1660 Ti. So, yeah, we're doing pretty good. We're doing pretty good. Okay, guys. So, that's it, guys. Thanks for watching. Let me know your guys' thoughts. Streamception. Streamception right now. Oh, man, this is going to gonna show up a lot of chat. All right, let me go back here. <laughs> alright guys thanks for watching have a good day see you guys take care have a good one that was fun uh, I'm hoping to do more of these build streams uh, down the road uh, I'll do another one next weekend I want to add the 3080 on this rig the RTX 3080 alright guys peace out appreciate you all have a good one <laughs> see ya see ya Jim thanks Jim Crypto Nuffy, Chancoin, Spectrum, Samuel, Pete, Jonathan Pollock. Hey, see you, see you guys. Ben C. Hit that like button, guys. Crypto Jason, see you later. Peace, peace, peace. Oh man, how do you stop? How do you stop? How do you stop the stream on YouTube? How do you on the phone? There's no X button. Wait, what? Ah, there we go. All right. Peace out, guys. <laughs> Peace out.